Don't make this mistake. Welcome to another video. Hello and welcome to this easy video. I'm just going to uh, do this video for you guys, especially if you are just starting in this kind of repair, okay? Micro soldering level repair or just uh, motherboard level repair in iPhone, Android, any kind of repairs, okay? This is something basic, but sometimes some technicians uh, make a lot of mistakes if they don't know this. And I always uh, like to teach this to my students because they can make a lot of mistakes if they don't know this. Okay? Remember, we are using uh, our multimeter to check uh, for short circuits, to check in diamonds, to check uh, ohms or to check voltage and uh, a lot of stuff with the multimeter okay and we always uh, like the classes I, I did before the power on stage of iPhone I told you something that you had to measure the exits the output of the PMU right you had to check if you have any short especially because when you press the power button and you have a consumption uh, higher than 60 to 120 for example you press the power button and you have a consumption for example 400 so you have a problem on the output lines of the PMU right remember this I did uh, so many videos about uh, talking about this okay so I told you okay you had to check the secondary lines if you have shorts right so for example I have right now this uh, this iPhone XR okay just to show you uh, this example here okay if I come here okay remember I'm going to open the schematics okay this is the schematic so for example if I have a consumption after power button so if you have a 400 milliamps when you press the power button so you have a problem on the secondary lines remember the secondary lines are the ones are alive when you press the power button okay I, I already uh, uh, make uh, four videos talking about the stages of uh, power on okay so you have to check every buck or every LDO if you have maybe a short circuit there right so you have to start checking for example this line okay PP CPU core so you had to come here to your PMU for example I'm going to check this one if if I have a short okay and this one these capacitors right here okay I'm going to check these capacitors okay so I'm going to put my multimeter in continuity okay continuity okay and I'm going to check this okay I'm going to put the multimeter there okay and I'm going to check this one okay this is ground and this one is positive right 26 ohms okay this is ground and positive right okay so you have to check every line but sometimes you are going to check this kind of line for example the PPGPU so if we check this line for example this line this one is going to be um, okay I got it here okay this one right this is the uh, this is the uh, GPU okay so this is the ground and this is the positive see I I already I have the beep right I have the beep here and I have the beep and the positive lines some technicians think this line is in short okay and they start making a uh, a lot of mistake because they are start to inject some voltage to try to see uh, which component is going hot or they are start to removing a lot of capacitors okay you have to understand this when you are checking continuity mode you are checking ohms okay it's the same thing for example I can put my multimeter right here in ohms right now is in ohms right if I touch my proofs my props like that this is almost zero ohms because I don't have resistance here okay the only resistor that this measure show me is the resistor of the cable okay so this is the lower resistor of my multimeter okay N nothing okay so when I when I'm checking 
when I'm checking in ohms, so for example, I'm going to check this one in ohms, this is ground, see? This one, show me, I'm going to check this one in ground, okay? See? 23! So this is the lowest resistor of my multimeter, 23! This is like the same that I'm connecting this, right? I'm connecting this, so for example, I'm, I'm going to see if I have a, a charge on my iPad, okay? Resistance is uh, something in basic electronic that tell me uh, how much is the resistor of the current, right? So for example, if I'm checking right now, if I'm checking right now, let me just give me one second, okay? If I'm checking right now, ground, okay, ground, so that's because I have my, I have my multimeter, this is positive and this is negative, okay? And right now I'm checking, out. I'm checking this line, I'm checking this line, okay? And this line have a capacitor right here, okay? Right here, remember, a capacitor. And I'm going to check this capacitor with ground. So for example, if I put my proof, my proof right here, this one to ground, okay and then i'm checking with the positive right right here to ground i'm not going to have any resistor right here because this one is touching with this one okay it's the same thing that's the same of i just touch my proofs like this okay so i don't have nothing okay now continuity on your multimeter is ohms you are measuring ohms and continuity what's the difference in continuity you have a sound measurement okay a sound measurement every multimeter have like a, a range okay so for example my multimeter told me if i if i have in continuity so my multimeter have a range and ohms ohms right and for, for example, I have right, right here uh, 100 ohms, right? Ohms and right here is 0 ohms, okay? My multimeter told me in this, in this, um, in this range, okay? In continuity, told me. If you have a measure that told me, for example, lower than 50 ohms, I'm going to do the B, the B. Okay, I'm going to do the beep, but that's just sometimes it's not short circuit. Sometimes it's just telling you you have a lower resistance line, especially because you are checking you are checking the uh, box. Remember the box have a lot of uh, current, right? And sometimes if the CPU need current. So you are going to have a uh, low resistance lines because the CPU have to um, have to get all this current. So that's why you have a lower resistance lines because you need the the current to go in from the PMU to the CPU faster, right? So the CPU don't need this the current. So that's why sometimes you have a lower resistance lines, but that doesn't mean you have a short line. Sometimes I have a students that if they just, just because your multimeter tell you and say beep, they start removing capacitor circuits, even the CPU and sometimes make a lot of mistakes. So for example, I'm going to come back to this line. Okay. Remember this line, the GPU. The GPU is a common uh, lower resistance lines. Okay. So for example, if I come back right here, if I come back right here and put my multimeter, okay, I'm going to check this one in ohms, okay, in ohms, in ohms. So this one is ground, see the difference? The ground is nothing. And I'm going to check the positive. The positive is seven ohms. Seven ohms is not the same of zero ohms, okay? This one, I'm checking this line with ohms right now. So when I change to, um, when I change to continuity, my multimeter is going to say, okay, if you have a 50 ohms lower, I'm going to do the beep. But that 
doesn't mean your line isn't short. It's just telling you you have a lower resistance line. So that's why you have always had to uh, give attention to your number of your multimeter to don't make these kind of mistakes. Okay. So for example, if I check this one, see, this one is ground. My multimeter is telling me zero, 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 zero. Okay. This is ground. But see when I check the positive line, the positive line is tell me seven. Seven is not the same of zero. So this line is good. Even if I get the beep, because remember my multimeter told me if you have a line lower than 50 ohms, I'm going to sound. And that's the continuity. Uh, measure on your multimeter is as is a ohms is always resistance mode with a sound when you have a lower uh, a lower range of resistance okay so I'm just want to make this video to you guys just because I know a lot of you are just starting on this kind of repair and I know I don't want to you to make a lot of mistakes okay just uh, we are going to learn step by step i'm going to try to teach you the best way to learn this kind of repair because this one is so easy to understand okay so remember not just because do the beep that means you have a short you have to pay attention to your number zero is zero but you have if you have two ohms three ohms 5 ohms, 7 ohms, even 10 ohms, your multimeter sometimes is going to do the beep, but you have to check your number. Tell me in, your, in the comments if you know this one, and don't forget to share this video. See you next time. Bye.